Hello, I am Jermaine Hatton. This is Summary Writing in 5 Minutes. Today is July 5, 2021, the day before CSEC English A. So I'm going to endeavor to do summary writing in 5 minutes. What is a summary, you might ask? Well, a summary is a shortened version of a piece of writing. So you're given a text, one and a half pages, and you're told to reduce that one and a half pages to 120 words. Sounds pretty normal. Sounds pretty good. For you to do that reduction to that small 120 words, you have to know a few things. First, in addition to being concise, the summary has to be precise. This precise means generally accurate. So whatever information you're, you're putting in your summary must have been in the original text. So let's go about paragraph by paragraph what it is that we need to pay attention to. And when you're writing your summary, more or less, you have to do it by identifying what we call topic sentences. So in your first sentence, in your first paragraph, you look for the topic sentence. Now your topic sentence will be that sentence that tells what that entire paragraph surrounds. So what is the paragraph about? Find that topic sentence and you generally would understand what each paragraph is about. Once you find that topic sentence, you can additionally look for any supporting part of that paragraph. So there may be a few words or a few phrases in addition to that topic sentence that might be important. So you find those topic sentences in each paragraph and you ask yourself, what does this topic sentence mean to me? When you find that out, rewrite that topic sentence as your own words, as your main idea. So in your summary, in the CXC exam, you have to find five main ideas. How do you find those five main ideas? Find the five topic sentences in each paragraph, ask yourself what that topic sentence means to you, and write that back in your own words. One, two, three, four, five. When you find those main ideas, you go on to now write your summary connecting those main ideas. You have to use linking words. Your linking words would be things like so, but, and, as a result, consequently, also, additionally, and those are the things you move, you put to move from one point to the other point. So let's back up just a bit. When we find these topic sentences, we are excluding examples. So we are going to exclude examples, statistics, quotations, anything that does not need to be in your summary, you are going to exclude. So the things that are generally repeating the topic sentence will be what you're, you're going to exclude. So let me give you an example. Let's say something says 90% of every person who commits an, who um, have an abortion dies. That's a dramatic statistic. But let's just say 90%. When you are writing your summary, you can comment on that idea, but you do not write back the number 90%. You write a majority of the people who uh, attempt an abortion die as a result of complication, something of that nature. Right. So this is summary writing in five minutes. I wish I can tell you everything, but I can't. I have a larger video that will explain everything that you need to know. So let me summarize. Before I summarize, let me talk a little bit about examples. When you see you have a comma after a comma after a comma, those are examples. Go back and remove them. If you see you have things such as, such as, uh, including, those are all introductory phrases for examples and examples will not be in your summary your summary has to be concise get to the point and stick at that point let me summarize when you're doing your summary your summary is aiming to be concise and precise 
to the point as brief as possible and highlighting those main ideas. So what you do, of course, you have to read. Read more than once. The more you read, the more you understand it. When you read, you identify your topic sentences. When you have those topic sentences, you are going to now write those topic sentences as what it means to you in your own words. When you're going to write those, you're going to use those same main ideas to now connect the dots with your linking words to write your final summary. Your summary has to be in 120 words. If you go above 120 words, you have examples there. Look back at it and cut it down. If it's below 100, there are important details there that you do not have. So you have to go back to the original text and see what is important and include it there. All the best. I'll link the video, I'll link the link to the larger video in the description. All the best.